Welcome back 3C Minions. Today we're working on the matte blue E-Ruck, just finally getting it all put together. And I wanted to just brag a little bit about Send Cut Send. If you guys haven't heard about Send Cut Send, you can essentially send in your 3D printed projects like I have here, and then they make it out of metal. It's honestly super easy to do, super easy to use, and it's beautiful. This one is powder coated. No, they're not paying me to say this, but I highly recommend them. If you've never done parts with them, do it. It's awesome. And then here, it just gives you a rough idea of how it all gets put together. The whole goal with this speedometer mount was to be as minimal as possible, to not be bulky, and I think we hit the nail on the head. It blends perfectly in with the handlebar riser. Got the seat roughly mocked up on the back end, and I largely did not anticipate how much room or how little room I'd have between the seat and the controller. You can see there, just a little bit of light. It's enough, <laughs> but it's not much. Bars came out looking fantastic, again with that speedometer mounted nice and flush to it really happy with how that came out and then back down here I got the light installed and just battery terminals put in place all the wiring I still need to go back and make it look nice but it's starting to take form and I went to go ahead and put the front wheel on and I forgot that I needed to make cushions so I went ahead and 3d printed those bamboo labs shout out to their printers if you don't have one you should get one they're awesome for templating but I had these left over from a past project and they were slightly too long, so largely didn't have anything to put my axle spacers in there. Theron entered the 3D printer so I can make my own stuff and then just plop those on the axle. It makes it really nice on the go that I can kind of adjust and flex either side as needed. Nice and centered, just how I like it. Really happy with how that came out. And it really, the <laughs> first try, I got really lucky. I just made a bunch of different sizes and then picked and choose until I got it right. And then now I'll send those out to metal. But for now, we can go ahead and keep going on the bike. Got the battery box on. And you can see here with these covers that I have for the turn signals up front, there needs to be a hole here. So I'll have to drill that out just to fit these turn signals in. That's an FLP product. If you guys have never ran these signals, I highly recommend them. They're super flush, and I just like the way they come together. Bam! Turn signals! And I really like the yellow on these. I know a lot of people like to run the smoked, but for my purpose, I have been pulled over for not having yellow turn signals, so I'd like to avoid it. Unfortunately, it does break the aesthetic, but at least with this, it's minimal and it does still look really good. And then at this angle, you can really see how nice that flat, I should say matte blue, matches everything. And the light, oh, it is so nice. I'm so happy with how this came out. Bunch of white stuff left over from when I drilled it. So we'll go ahead and put this mount on. Yeah, that's how that comes out. I'm so excited to get this thing finally put together. I obviously need to clean up a lot of this wiring, but we'll get it together. It's a work in progress. Uh, yeah, motor, motor, motor. This thing's going to be silent. I'm so excited to have another belt drive in the house since I got rid of the other E-Rucks. Shortening the phase wires is definitely an important process in the E-Rucks just because the phase wires are so long compared to where you can fit them under the seat. It just looks so good and nice and tidy. I still need to electrical tape some stuff, but it's coming together. This way I'm routing it over top, and you can see here again that sliver of light underneath the seat there. This is obviously a short video, but we did get it together and I just wanted to post a little progress for you guys just to, so you know it is together and we'll get this thing out. You can probably see here, I don't have a rear disc. It's because I never run rear brakes. Yes, you can hate me for that if you want, but we don't need it with the regen braking, so I normally don't put them on. Hence the plate cover to be able to cover that up a little bit. But yeah, it's nice and centered here all the way up. Really, really, really excited to get this out. But it is winter in Ohio, so <laughs> we'll do that at some point. At any rate, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.